A three-axis gimbal is a camera stabilizer that allows you to perfectly balance your video camera in order to capture buttery smooth and cinematic shots. Frankly, it's an amazing video tool that wasn't accessible to churches even 10 years ago. But how do you use it best? In this video, you'll learn five advanced gimbal moves that we like to use every time we take out our camera. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Tools, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're gonna get a dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift in 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills, joined as always by the boss man, Brady Shearer. I am always impressed, Alex, by the rapid pace of technological advancements yes. in the video camera world. And one of the examples of that is three-axis gimbals. Mm -hmm. Only a couple of years ago, three-axis gimbals were only available through extremely, extremely expensive cost yeah. or really poorly made knockoffs yeah. from you know across the sea. But now, leading companies like DJI are making gimbals that are wildly affordable and really accessible to almost every church. You can even use them with your phone on something like the Osmo. Yeah. And the gimbal that we're using currently right now is the DJI Ronin S. It's a single handle three axis gimbal mm -hmm. where as the previous three axis gimbals we've had have had multiple handles and are really bulky and heavy. And, and now what we have is this single handle gimbal that is extremely compact. It's very reliable. It's easy to balance. And it even has this cool little joystick on it. Yeah. So, so you can say camera move up or right or left or down. Yeah. And you can control and program it through the DJI Ronin app. So you, you can do like automated time-lapse motion. It's 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 really cool and super versatile. Gimbals are amazing tools, yeah. but they can also be a little bit gimmicky yeah. in that you can over uh, overly rely on them. Mm -hmm. You can just start, you know, just taking your gimbal out for everything. And I have definitely fallen prey to this before where I put my camera on a gimbal. I'm like, look, I'm now like a professional movie maker <laughs> because my camera will never shake. Right. And so in this episode, we wanted to talk about five moves that we kind of like to use. These are more advanced maneuvers with your gimbal. So if you're already putting your gim uh, your camera on a gimbal, stabilizing it and following people around, you might be thinking, well, what else can I do with a gimbal? Mm -hmm. And we want to talk about five advanced moves. If you're listening to this episode, it might be one to watch because we're going to have plenty of examples as well. Well, and these five specific moves will help you use your gimbal with more intention. Like you said, you're just mm. not going to be walking around following your subject all the time, but you're going to have five kind of go-to shots at, oh, you know, I really want to do the endless dolly, which is our first shot we're going to talk about. And that way you can be shooting with a gimbal with more intention. So move number one, like Alex said, the endless dolly. A dolly is basically this cart that you put on tracks and, and, and this is used in big movie productions to get perfectly still tracking shots, mm -hmm. moving, you know, horizontally or, or vertically within the frame. You could also do this with a slider. Sliders are kind of a more affordable version of the dolly. So we have like this mini, you know, three foot slider. But yeah. all of these physical items, whether it be a dolly or a slider, require transportation. Right. And dollies are massive. And even sliders, you know, I've tried to travel with my slider on the road before. And like, if it's over three and a half feet or something, like it won't even fit in your checked bags. Right. And so what we've begun doing is using the DJI Ronin S to create an endless dolly, one that isn't constrained by the actual track of right. the dolly or slider. What you can do is you can lock the position of your camera on the Ronin, and then you can become the dolly yourself. We were doing this a ton when we were traveling mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in Yosemite National Park, and we would just kind of hold the camera and we'd move left and right. And as far as we'd want to go, right. the camera's position is gonna stay locked in place. And now you have this makeshift dolly that is not confined by any physical track. Yeah, there's no more limitations, right? You don't have a certain number of feet of track. Your feet are the tracks and you can travel basically as far as you want. And this could really help get those like elongated, really, you know, those shots where, where you're watching a movie, you're like, how did they do this all in one shot? How is this even possible? Well, now with these affordable gimbals, like the Ronin S we're talking about, you can do this yourself and you can create those those endless shots that, that seem nonsensical. Like, how is it possible to get this all in one shot? Well, this is how. What's great about the endless dolly move is that it would require normally a ton of extra gear and a ton of extra, you know, transportation to get the gear where yeah. you need to go. What's cool about this second move is that it's not just a replication or an easier version. This second move is pretty much only made possible with a gimbal. It's yeah. the low to the ground shot where you kind of flip the gimbal upside down. And instead of having 
the, you know, if I'm holding my microphone and my mic is the actual camera and the handle of the mic is the handle of the gimbal, basically you flip it upside down and your camera is just inches mm -hmm. hovering above the ground. And what this allows you to do is create these very dynamic shots because your camera is so low to the ground, even if you're using a, a wide lens, the mo or even if you're using more zoomed in lens, because you're so close to the ground, the movement is that much more exaggerated. Yeah. And really, if you have a cinema camera, it doesn't matter if you have a steady cam. Like these, these types of moves are very, very difficult. But with a gimbal, you can just flip it upside down, yeah. put it low to the ground, you're good to go. And we talk about making use of foreground elements in photography and videography all the time, you know, kind of adding some motion to those shots. And again, we did this in Yosemite. We were just at the base of these gigantic rock faces and without that foreground element of the ground you know the blades of grass it would have been hard to notice that there was any motion at all but flip that gimbal down get that camera really low to the ground all of a sudden the grass is this foreground element that is giving you all kinds of motion that you never could have achieved otherwise the third move we call the travis scott aka the straight up and what we <laughs> like about this move is that another almost impossible move that you couldn't create we used to have the DJI Ronin M, the DJI Ronin original, yes. and we'd put our giant Ursa Mini or even like, you know, a Canon 5D on the Ronin, and you'd want to like tilt it straight up. <laughs> right. You'd have to tilt your whole body back to do it. <laughs> What's amazing about the joystick on the Ronin is, so again, we're in Yosemite. This is the first time that we ever filmed with this, and so yeah. that's why we kind of keep going back to that moment. And I've got the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, and it says that I have 0% battery left. <laughs> so I'm going back to the car to, to replace the batteries. And I'm walking through these really tall trees. And I was like, oh, I want to get one more shot. And this would have taken, you know, 20 minutes of setup or something with previous rigs that we've had. All I did was take the joystick. I point it straight up. It took three seconds yeah. to get the camera in place. And it's perfectly stabilized because the Ronin S is so reliable. I hit record and I get this beautiful looking straight up shot that would almost be impossible using any other rig or at least really cumbersome. Yeah. And we got it in a matter of moments before the battery died. Yeah. All because it's so quick and easy to, to, to do these types of things. We did this same shot with the same technique a few weeks ago. We were shooting in Toronto, big metro city in Canada. And so same thing, you know, you're, you're standing in the street in the midst of these gigantic skyscrapers. And so you just throw that camera straight up and all of a sudden you get this new perspective of, mm. of, of the architecture and how big these buildings are. And like you said, just with the, the upward motion of that toggle and, and you're ready to shoot just within a few seconds. Move number four, we call this drone in a car. <laughs> can you can you elaborate on that? <laughs> Who made these notes? <laughs> drone in the car. So we're in Yosemite, and you cannot take out your drone in a national park. Right. Of course, we want to obey those rules. So we're driving through, and we had this Ronin S, and we were like, well, what, what can we do here? Oh, I know. This car we have has a sunroof mm -hmm. and regular windows. And so Alex put the Pocket 4K <laughs> on the Ronin, took off the sunroof, and just kind of holding the gimbal out of the sunroof yeah. or out of the window of the car and now we're getting these really cool moving shots fast movement and sure it's not exactly a drone <laughs> but it's a drone in a car we love to do this basically take the ronin and or take the gimbal and pretty much anything you can do with the car you, now you can move a lot more f uh, quickly than you would be able to if you were just using your feet yeah but what's great about these light rigs is that they're still going to stay stabilized mm -hmm. it's one thing to hold the gimbal inside the car it's another to hold it out yeah. in the sunroof, you know, going 50 miles an hour. Yeah. And it's still st so stabilized. Mm -hmm. like, it was not knocking it off, which I kind of expected it to do. I was like, Alex is going to hold this out. <laughs> the camera's going to immediately lose all of its yeah. balance and start like spinning around. Yeah. And it didn't. No, it handled it really well. And the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema, Cinema Camera 4K doesn't have an articulating screen. And so <laughs> it was kind of like I stuck the camera up there and just had to hope that we were going to have a good result. And when I brought the camera back in and went to playback, I was shocked with how stable the shots were in the wind. We faced it forwards against the wind, turned it around, faced it backwards with the wind. And the, the gimbal did well. And we got some really cool looking shots. And then finally, move number five. This is going to be the most gimmicky shot. Yes. The one that you want to use most sparingly. But when you do use it, it's going to look real cool. We call this the infinity roll. You can put your gimbal, your Ronin S, in what's called flashlight mode, mm -hmm. where basically you hold the gimbal like a flashlight straight out. Right. And then using the joystick, you can get your camera to articulate in a 360 degree pattern yeah. basically this is the inception shot where you're right. looking straight 
uh, ahead, and then suddenly the whole world is starting to turn, and Just it goes like upside the stranger down. Stranger Things, the upside down, it's kind of that same technique. Yeah. It's really, really cool. We took one of these shots and made it into a social post where the caption was basically like, it's his upside down kingdom. And you have this normal shot and then suddenly it starts turning around. Yeah. And, and just, just a fun gimmicky shot. You don't want to use it too often, but it really is unlike anything else you could create outside of the gimbal setup. Yeah. So five advanced gimbal maneuvers that you can try. Hopefully the examples have proven helpful to show you what this could actually look like. Feel free to experiment and move beyond the simple tracking shots that a gimbal allows. And try not to become overly reliant on the gimbal. Mm -hmm. It is just a tool. It is not the panacea for everything in the world of filmmaking. And that'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Tools. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And once you've liked the video, we're going to celebrate with air horns. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's not an air horn, it's just compressed air. Smash it!